What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Rest Forever, the demo. Now, this game popped up today on Game Drill, and this game looks really, really cool. Now, I have no idea what engine this game is made in. I believe it's made in the Unity engine, but it looks like a really creepy, uh, psychological, thriller, horror-style game. Now, in this game, you play as a, uh, a guy who is trapped in the nightmare of this lady who attempted to commit suicide, but unfortunately, she failed doesn't actually say why, and now this guy is trapped in a nightmare, and your job is to roam the nightmare and basically survive until the next day. Now, this game is going to have uh, jump scares. It's going to have dark areas. It's going to have a lot of flashing. Like, it's going to be jump scare, spooky, scary game. I have no idea how long the game is, but this game is a huge download. It's a 2 gigabyte download. Now, that could just be because the game isn't... Um, optimized for download or whatnot some developers end up doing that because they don't know how to do it like zipping files and stuff like that even though the file that i downloaded was a zip file but uh if it's anything what i'm thinking this game is going to be really good i mean the size for the file is two gigabytes which took like half an hour just to download it which is very surprising for an indie game especially on game Joel. so i don't know any more than that but what i saw it looks cool and hopefully it will explain it more in the game as we play it so october 12th 2015 2 25 a.m Okay, chat room. I'm in a chat. I, I'm I'm in a chat. I I am. David, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yeah, me too. I'm guessing it's a girl. I'm very excited. I will have a surprise for you. That can be a little weird. Really? Looking forward to being to be seeing the surprise. Well, I bet. Okay, that should be capital. Well, I better get some sleep for tomorrow so I can go to school. Hear you later. Bye. I. What the hell did that say? Uh. All right. Um. I'm. St okay, I was stuck in a box. What is with the stutter that I have when I turn? Camera flash. Okay. Controls to walk slower. Wow. I even have like a. What is with? Why is my character freaking out? You guys notice that? Okay, I can open... Okay. Press C to camera flash. Your lights... Oh, okay. If you see her in a room, you need to quickly flash her with the camera and wait until you hear her leave. Note, you have limited flashes. Oh! Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, I can't see anything. Whoa. Ah! Uh! What the hell was that? Ah! Oh! Okay! She left! I can't see shit! Didn't I have a camera or something? Ah. Uh, I can't... I can't fucking see! Okay, I'm gonna take this one up as a mulligan because I can't see shit. Ah! Ah! Fucking god damn it, bitch! Go away! Ah! Okay! Hopefully I didn't just kill my audio there. God damn it! Alright, what the fuck was that, dude? That was weird. Alright, so you have to survive until morning. Please tell me I can skip this. Okay, that was weird. I, I get what I have to do with her, but are you serious that I don't have any type of flashlight or anything? Like, there's no... There's nothing. There really isn't. There's no lights or anything like that. Like, this game is supposed to have light switches and whatnot. Why? Why? Okay. Okay. Can't see. Ah, fuck. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Ah! Okay. Really? Okay, this game said that there was going to be, like, um, lights that you can turn on, light switches, stuff like that, 
So, I get it that this game is kind of trying to go with, uh, oh god, what was that name, that game called? It was a game that came out a little while back that a lot of people really liked. I never played it, but it's the one where there was that little girl that was in the basement. She had these creepy dolls that were chasing you. So I guess the developer's trying to, trying to, kind of trying to go with something like that. But why can't you turn the lights on? Like, there's no flashlight or anything like that. Or there's no... Like, there should be... You should be able to run around and turn lights on in the house. Which I understand. Or maybe maybe have it so you can only turn one light on at a time or something like that. I don't know. But the fact that I'm literally just walking around in the dark. Like, what am I supposed to do in that scenario? I can't see anything. No, you have a limited flashes. Wait until you hear her leave. So, what am I supposed to do? Just sit in a room and wait for her to... To come after me? Like, I should have... I should have a flashlight. Or... Something that will allow me to walk around without just using my flash. Go away. Okay, I got her to go away. Like, I literally can't see anything. Ah. Uh, great, she's inside of me. Okay, I still got her to go away. I'm just gonna sit here. Like, this is ridiculous. What, how are you supposed to win? How are you supposed to survive? I'm guessing the demo, you're not really supposed to do anything. It's more or less probably just supposed to be proof of concept. Okay, she's inside of me again. She's in... Wow, I actually have a body and everything, too. I'm just gonna chill. I really am. I don't know how long I have to survive, but what are you, seriously, what are you supposed to do? Like, I understand the house is most likely going to be bigger uh, once the full version of the game comes out. But, you literally, all you can do is walk around in the pitch black. Fuck it. Fuck off, lady. Get out of me. So, all you can do is just stand, walk around in the pitch black where you can't see anything and flash the camera when you hear her laugh. Or you can just camp in a corner like I'm doing. Okay, so, again, this is only... Fuck. Go away. Go away. Thank you. I guess this is only proof of concept for the game. It's supposed to just kind of show it off what the developers are going to be doing. But, please, developers, you guys have actually something kind of cool here. But... Please do not, like, just keep it like this. Please add something else. Like, I should have glow sticks. I should have a flashlight. Or you should be able to walk around and turn lights on in the house. I know this is stuff that I usually explain at the end of my videos. But, since I'm just sitting here, and I don't feel like getting her screamed in my face again. I only have two more shots anyway. After this, I'm dead. But, uh, like, you gotta do something else. Like, be able to walk around, turn lights on in the house. And, like, if you go to from one room to another, the light in the previous room shuts off. Or... Uh, or you go into one room and then she shuts off the lights in the house or something like that or maybe you have to deal with turning on a generator I don't know but the fact that literally the only way you can even see in this game I'm dead I'm dead fuck <sighs> she still gets me every time alright I'm just gonna I'm just gonna camp and sit right and uh, sit right there at the beginning and see how long I can go. I don't know if you can actually beat the demo or whatnot, but I don't care if this is a cheese way to do it, but I don't know what else you're supposed to do. And I'm not even kidding. Like, that's just insane. Like, you can't go anywhere. What are you supposed to do? You can't... I mean, yeah, granted, this place isn't very big, but you literally cannot see uh, unless you use the flash. So, definitely, like, you gotta have something else there. Like, have, like, a super low light that, or have a light that you can at least see where you're going. Something like that. Like the light of a glow stick from Vanish or something like that. They were super low. They were very, they weren't like great. But at least you could still walk around and see. And then obviously you could still use the flashing of the light, or flashing of the camera, to uh, steer her away. That's perfectly fine. That's a perfect way to actually do it. It's actually kind of cool in its own way. You take a picture of her and she goes away. Now obviously I'm guessing the house is going to be much bigger when the full version of the game comes out. Oh, she's inside of me. Great. So she just spawned inside of me. Okay. So I'm guessing that if you just camp like I'm doing now, she spawns inside of you. And that's how the game is supposed to deteriorate that. But because the game doesn't know how to differ differentiate between her body and yours when you flash, she immediately goes away. If you do it correctly. Which I ended up dying last time, but I was out of things anyway. 
But still, there's definitely got to be something that you can do. Obviously, the house is going to get bigger, so you can go, like, explore the basement, maybe the garage, the attic, all those different things. Uh, maybe even collect stuff while you're going in the house. Now, it's understandable that you're in a nightmare, but uh, have something that you can collect. Like, this lady, I think the one that's killed me multiple times, she is the one that, the, the nightmare that you're in. This is a malevolent spirit that you're running from, even though there's really nowhere to run. But if you want to do something like that, have there an objective in the house. Like, maybe uh, start out... Uh, where you have to go turn the generator on or something like that, like it's storming out. And then when you do that, it messes with the power so you can only have lights on in one room at the house or whatnot. Um, you could also do something while collecting the objects of this lady's design, like something like that. Like if this is her house, I don't know if this is actually your house or hers, but uh, or if you're just in the nightmare itself. But maybe start out in a different place, go to bed, and then wake up in a different place. You could also do that. Because you would only have to design one room around your character at the beginning and then have him lay down and then you're dead or you're good. So uh, do something like that and then have him spawn in this house or whatnot and you have to go around and collect stuff that this lady had in her house. Like, I don't know, like a vase or a totem or something that this lady was into that the game could actually explain as well. Again, you could have those rooms that I talked about, like the basement, stuff like that. The generator could do something with the lights. You definitely got to have some type of light source wandering around. You can't just leave it as the flash. That's not... That's not fair to the player because then you're just doing this the whole time, especially when you don't have an objective. Because uh, you can't see shit. I, I literally can't see anything. I, I literally have no reason to wander around the house, which I've already seen the entire thing, um, because there's nothing to do. There's just kind of chilling out. Again, this is only a demo. I'm not picking... I'm, I'm kind of picking the game apart, but I'm doing it so that the game is more interesting when the final, when the next version of it comes out. Maybe they'll do another beta with some of the stuff that I've suggested, and I'll gladly play it, guys. Seriously, if you want to consider this the Rest Forever Alpha demo, please do so, and I will absolutely play your beta if you add some extra stuff to it. You gotta have something for the player to do instead of just wandering in and out. Okay, and that's the that's the full version. Just get survived until 1:20 a.m. Okay. Alright, so definitely, developers, seriously, please listen to what I say. You guys have got to add something else to it, because otherwise you're just going to be sitting there like I just did, which wasn't, obviously, wasn't very hard. Again, the full version will hopefully be much bigger. Uh, I was kind of expecting the house to be bigger because of the file size, but not that big of a deal. But yeah, you guys have definitely got to add something else. you got to give the players something to do while they're trying to survive, because otherwise it's just camping in a corner like I did and just spraying, flashing her. Um, and you definitely gotta add some type of light source, like a glow stick or, I don't know, like I said, you could do the storming, the storming outside, the generator goes out, you have to use maybe glow sticks that you have in your drawer, or like a flashlight, or maybe like a little tiny lamp, uh, nothing that's gonna, you know, nothing that's gonna shed light into one room or another, or it could actually be even super dark in the room that you're in, but as long as you can kind of see the floor and walk around and stuff like that, you gotta have something like that. Otherwise, you're just walking around in the darkness with flashes, and then if you try to, if you have to move from one room to another, as I'm assuming you're going to take this glitch out, which allowed me to sit in just one room the entire time, uh, if you're just, if you're going to do that, you got to let the player be able to get out of that room that she's in after flashing her and she runs away, instead of just, you know, saying, oh, you have to use the camera to get from one room to another, because you will never know where you're going unless you flash. So, anyway, those are just suggestions that I have. Guys, if you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or or go uh, write a uh, write write a write up or write like a comment on the Game Jolt page, which you guys can find in the description below. But that's all the time I got for you today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the annotation. I'm gonna spawn right here for more videos that I've done, and I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs out. South. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, hi, Alex. I. Ah! Oh! Well. Oh. I saw that.